Unreal Engine seems to have a very important feature that, at least to my thoughts, should really be there in the first place. If you if you enable a uh, split screen environment on the Unreal Engine, there will not be bloom, and that can look bad for your game, whether it's a Tron style graphics game. Like if you imagine the Tron game without any bloom or glow to it, it's going to look like crap. So you're going to want that enabled if you're not the split screen environment. So there is a way to enable this through the source code, the source code. And I have done so as you've seen right now. And it's fairly easy because the reason they haven't had it in is because supposedly there's there will be artifacts or the bloom would uh, leak into the other split screen which does not happen at least of this release um, so you're going to want to go to this link in the description go to the branch you want I'm using the latest stable build 4.18 so you're going to click it and then you're going to hit download as a zip file and then you're going to it's going to download you a zip file and then what you're going to want to do is go to your downloads, get it, and don't extract it yet. You're gonna wanna put it into your C drive or whatever main drive you're using, because if you don't, there could be problems. So I have it right here. You're gonna extract the zip file into the C drive like this. Here's the what was downloaded, and I extracted it here. So you're gonna get some of these files. You're not gonna see them all because I've done it already. First thing you're gonna wanna do is run the setup.bat and it's gonna have you download about three to four GB of files. And once that's completed, you're gonna wanna um, do this right here. But before you do that, there's like two things you gotta worry about. First of all, make sure you have the, if you go into your Visual Studio, you're gonna wanna uh, modify your um, plugins for it. You're gonna wanna go here go to individual components and you're going to want to go all the way down and ensure you have Windows 8.1 SDK and as well as the, all the other stuff you might need in a basic Visual Studio package but that'll be for some another tutorial if you need it so after you have that there could be another problem um, I had this problem I don't know if it was because I didn't have it in my C drive or not but the problem was it said that my file names were too long, which was out of my out of my um, control because it was downloading. So if that does happen, even though it's in the C drive, you're gonna to want to get a file that's in the description. It's a um it's a registry file. I left a media fire link and it'll uh, surpass the file size limit, or not the files at the file name length limit for Windows 10, which is a great feature. So after you have those two things, you're gonna to wanna to do this, generate the project files, and then you should have all these files you see here. Now, first thing you're going to do is um, before you open this up, you can actually go and find your uh, the file that we need because you have the source code of the game engine now. You're going to want to type in showflags.cpp. Let it load up, and it should pop up in a second. Yeah, right here. So you're gonna want to open this up with um, Visual Studio, and then once it's open, I'll do that now. It's gonna launch Visual Studio, and then you're gonna be able to edit the code inside the main engine code. So it's opening the file. And here we go, you got all the settings. So you're gonna wanna find a specific spot here. Uh, I believe it's line 377, so we can check. Go down, you're gonna wanna find, go down a bit, oh, I have one right there. You wanna find the split screen if, It should be here somewhere. Let me just find it real quick. Maybe it's up. Ah, 
here it is if it's split screen this is going to be you can have three of these see bloom right here that's going to be a zero all you have to do is change that to a one these will enable for split screen if you make it to a one but i'm not sure if that'll be um, if that'll cause like glitches or anything but you're going to want to change that into a one and then what you're going to want to do is save the file yeah save close it and then you're going to want to go back to your um you're going to want to go back to that file you have been working on the file right here and then you're going to want to open up ue4.slm so open that up and then that's going to be the whole version like think of it like you download version 4.18 4.17 in the launcher right here think of this as like a, a new one this one's unlock the source files so you're gonna have to build it so once this loads up i'm gonna initialize and everything you're going to want to go to build build solution this is going to take about an hour or so depending on your computer so you're going to let that completely finish make sure you have enough um, disk space because i did not and i had to do it all over again it was a real pain so after it's successfully built you should be good to go you hit debug and hit start without debugging it's going to open up it's going to open up a um it's going to start loading up the engine, you know, the version, and then you're going to be able to select your project, and then you start up split screen, and there you go. You got Bloom split screen as shown right here. Because before it would look like this. What do you do? Oh, no, that's not well. You know, you know what it looks like. You had that problem, but yeah, that that's how you do it. Hopefully, it works for you. That's it.